Hello friends, welcome to channel Reza Blade. This is your friendly neighborhood Reza. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you'll enjoy this and I hope you choose to do the old like, comment, subscribe routine. It does really help me out. This simple tutorial for what I feel is an elegant look features polishes from A. England's new Linear Hollow Bram Stoker and the Count collection. Here is the sample I did when I was deciding whether or not, you know, what I was going to do my tutorial on. But the goal is a quick tutorial, so I'm going to try not to chat your ears off. I did do a swatch video when I unboxed these polishes um, that Beautometry kindly sent me. I'm going to link that in the description below. And uh, here is the swatch wheel. These are beautiful. I'm going to show you the flash in just a second because they're not coming out in these swatches like exact. Oh, here we go. Mean is showing up a little bit. That silvery lilac. Anyway, um, I'll link the video where I unbox and swatch these in the description below. Anything, basically anything I mentioned, description below. <laughs> so uh, polishes are going to be described and linked below as well. So, um, I'm also in this video using B Loves Plates, B04, Leaves of Happiness Stamping Plate. Uh, this is from Butometry's October My Mini Box, which Therese sent me as well. Um, I'm going to link that uh, unboxing demo video in the description below uh, as well. It's a really awesome subscription box. Uh, Butometry carries this plate in their store. So, um, this combination is Mina and Transylvania. I'm going to show you Mina. This is the one that just won't stop. Really love this. And then Transylvania, you can see the hollow in there. That's that lovely blue with that violet undertone. All right. So, um, I've already painted the nails. In fact, you'll notice that there's already a little bit of nail art done. Oh, before I t tell you about my catastrophe, I'll show you. This is my brainstorming process for this video. So this is how I decided what color combination I was going to do. Okay, and then I don't know what that accent was supposed to be. Um, and then you can do this on short nails as well. It'll also look good in the size of the... Uh, leaf is pretty perfect for those as well just do it across the nail like diagonally so we've got our nails painted now we're going to go ahead and start the stamping okay so i'm going to push these aside just a little bit and get out my for this i'm using um queen silver metallic from amazon i broke my hit the bottle i think it's called chromio they're silver uh, which I'd rather use because it, well, A, I like to support uh, women-owned small businesses and also just, I really love Michelle and Hit the Bottle and the polishes. All right. So let's see how this turned out. It is acceptable for a tutorial video. And um, this is all a bit of work. I use scotch tape to get the extra bits off of my stamper. Some people use lint rollers. Some people use scraping cards. Um, I found this method works best for me. I like to deploy the little corners in the special hard to get to places. And when I'm really in a pinch, I, um, I can use a little silicone bit like this which I got from a bead picker-upper or a sequin picker-upper, whichever. I've done so much costuming. I'm getting it mixed in with my nail art. Okay. And then we remove this bit. Oh, dear. Oh, bother. Okay. Come on, just get off. Thank you. Okay. So, in order to set a very good example... I'm going to clean. Oh no. <laughs> I've stuck this together with uh, acetone accidentally. So anyway, I'm going to grab this little cotton thing and I'm going to clean off my stamping plate because that is what you do. And I'm going to put that aside for now, although I'm going to bring it out in another minute. So. 
first things first when you do reverse stamping I use you want your stamp to be flexible so some of the coats top coats clear coats out there are really not helpful so I use wet n wild clear nail protector to be efficient I'm going to do this just along lengthwise normally you're really not going to want to when you're doing this you're, you're going to want to make sure your your swipes don't overlap because that will uh, tend to to smear the original stamp so um, let's see now what am I gonna do so uh, this I recorded this video just a few minutes ago and I uh, apparently didn't press record like I thought I did and I did this version for people who don't like to do reverse stamping I'm gonna I use this little spoolie like they're the mascara wands this, this um, is uh, designed after some really expensive name brand wand, but I don't remember what, so I can't tell you. But anyway, so I did the spoolie here instead of dry brushing. On this one, I'm just going to do the dry brushing, but I do like that idea. I'm going to leave this aside. So now let's decide what to do some dry brushing with. I've used Dracula and Mina. And I picked out a couple of brushes to do dry brushing because this wand is just a little too thick, I think, for a dry brushing. Just get it from the wand so I'm not leaving anything to dry and waste polish on a palette. I often dab my paintbrush when I'm dry brushing. I'm just going to... Little bits and pieces, I don't know if you can see them. Just, just a little bit. Just wiggle it just a little bit. <laughs> if you don't quote song lyrics at least once a day, I don't know what you're doing wrong, but fix it. All right, I'm teasing you. So uh, remember when you clean off your brushes with acetone, rinse them off with water so the acetone doesn't passively eat away. I'm going to try another brush just to give you friends an example of uh, different brushes, what they can do when you're dry brushing. I probably picked up a bunch of polish there, so I'm blotting. And then here we go. Just little bits of pink. I really like this. This is Dracula. I forget, since I've done this twice now, I forget if I've told you what all these colors are. This is Dracula. And this is Van Helsing, and I think it hilarious as a fan of vampire fiction that Dracula and Van Helsing are teaming up to do this nail look. All right. And, of course, Mina's helping out whenever she can. She's, she's a helpful lass. All right, so I think I've got my dry brushing done. It looks nice and decorative. And, like I said, I clean off my, my brushes just right away. All right. So now what are we going to do? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to fill this in. I usually do two coats of the uh, wet and wild clear coat, but I'm, you know what I do? I want to, I want a consistent smooth texture, which is one of the things that two coats will do for you. And on my second coat, I tend to go the opposite direction. I went the first time. You don't have to do that. It is just a thing that I do. And then now I'm going to show you um, the easy, cheap way to do that nail. I'm going to stamp again. Let's get another stamper. These I get in uh, bulk from AliExpress because I go through so many of them. Sometimes I'll be doing a bunch of PR nail art, so I'll have like 20 reverse stamps going at once. That's a great day in the kitchen. Okay, so what was I doing? I was using this using this and for this particular stamp instead of using the other silver I'm going to use this Emily Damali um, silver chrome that I haven't really tried out yet to any decent extent well except in the video that didn't record not that I'm bitter all right usually I tell you guys stories while I do my nail art, but I can't think of any story. Well, I don't mean usually. Lately, 
I've been doing stories, let's just say. I got a couple requests for story time I had at Halloween. I have a lot of ghost stories. And then my second ex-husband, both of them were named Josh, but second husband was a full upgrade from the other, so we called him Josh 2.0. Um, he and I had some really weird coincidences when we were dating that led us to marry, and we were married for almost 10 years so it was a pretty good run. All right. Anyway, so sometimes I tell those stories too. Like the time we accidentally ended up with an end table that he literally had in his house when he was a kid. Uh, and it didn't come from his family. It came from a uh, walk around my apartment complex in Fenton, Missouri, which is a suburb of St. Louis. Anyway, so I did that one. And you'll notice I actually did my nails a bit today. Um, I'm having no particular flare-ups right now, and I'm feeling really excited about it. Uh, and usually I do my nail art in gloves because my hands are really sensitive, both to chemicals and other crap. So um, I'm going to do a couple things in a row. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the Dracula now. Because I have to clear coat this anyway to stick it on. I might as well be letting the Dracula dry. Dracula dry. Okay. The alliteration is strong in this one. So I hope you all tell me how you're doing. I hope you're happy I'm back. I will be releasing videos, so that's why it's so important. You know, some of my uh, video... YouTube creators that I really like. When I went into um, YouTube the other day, I found that the bell that I had clicked, solid, was now unhighlighted at all. Like I wasn't getting any notifications. You don't want to keep going on this like once it starts to kind of dry because you'll start picking up polish instead of putting it down once it starts to dry. Anyway, I forgot entirely what I was saying is fine. Not really, but okay. Uh, if I, w when I'm editing, I'll go ahead and tell you what I was, I'll finish what I was saying. This is, uh, an example of fibro fog or ADHD. I don't know which. So, all right. Uh, and let's do that bat. Okay. So this, this black color is bat wings got a violet shimmer undertone kind of thing and I need some clear coat not clear coat sticky base coat and I'm gonna put that right on there and then I'll go back in with any pink I really am so good on this one that I need to if I need to fill any spots in I'm so glad that all the stampers pretty much that are being released now are clear when I started stamping five years ago, that was really not the case. And it is so hard to get an image totally perfect um, if you have a totally opaque stamp. I don't know if I have any around my workspace, so I can give you an example if you haven't seen one. But, I mean, it could... Here we go. Like this. You can't see through that. Now, you can't see through that either, but... Uh, anyway. Anyway. So I have used the clear coat. I think I used it minimally enough that this isn't going to slip and slide. That is a concern if you over apply your, your sticky base coat. I blew, it on, I blew on it for good luck. And this one is this way with the stem at the top. So because I do, oh, this, that, this isn't that. This is a totally different thing. But the last one had the stem at the top, at the top so I'm going to do this little quick thing right there. I should probably have zoomed in a long time ago. So there's that, and it, when you pull it back, it looks pretty neat, I think. And that's a good alternative, or at least that's my idea of a good alternative. If you are, here's a, a top coat from A England, if you are not in the mood for any of that reverse stamping stuff. But if you do like reverse stamping or you've done a little bit of it, I'm hoping this particular tutorial would be a good fit for you. So move this along. Here is an example of it with the mattified. 
and this matte top coat was um, from A England this time. I really like that look. I think it mattifies really well. And I don't have to show it to you again because I just showed you. All right, so now let's look at the Dracula, okay? Do we see any holes? All right, I do see holes, if you can see right here and right here. So I'm going to go ahead and go and border this. I'm going to use a skinnier brush than I was using this one for the bigger part of the, of the leaf. But now that I'm bordering it and fixing a little bit, filling in some stuff, I'm using a much smaller brush. And I'm just going in very carefully. Very, very carefully. Is When I'm doing really detailed work, it is kind of hard to talk. To talk in stamp. And paint. I'm still really upset that I was in the middle of telling you something earlier and it just disappeared. But at least you know what I deal with on a daily basis. Sorry, if you hear that dog barking, my neighbors just got a puppy and they're raising it once again as an outside dog. So bad. I hate it, I hate it. And that poor little puppy keeps barking day and night. All right, good enough, close enough for government work, as they say. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my brush right away, setting a very good example, at least I hope so, and rinsing that off in water and putting it aside. All right, so now I usually do a another coat to cover it up just for, you know, textural reasons, but we are in a bit of a hurry here. I wanted to keep this video fairly short and it's not. <laughs> so um, I hope you all like these polishes. Um, so, and from my channel, I think great stuff is what's coming. So don't forget to get to do that notific notification bell that I talked to you about. And um, I just, I told you about the notifications I had to fix. I'll be doing more lives soon on YouTube, so you, you really do want to get those notifications. Those tend to be fun, at least for the people who come. They tell me it's fun. Um, also, please comment below and tell me what you think of this design. Um, and which color combo do you like best? And uh, next up from me is the February Manny by Me box plate, uh, kind of art with the mixed media plates. Uh, a lot of you, maybe, if you've been following me for a while, know that I adore mixed media and I do a lot of it in my nail art. Uh, so that'll be really fun. Um, so I am doing the... I'm doing the, the uh, stem over on this side so that it's kind of symmetrical. All right. And you see the little white or clear bits that are coming. That's just that clear coat that we used. So the way to get that taken care of is you take your cleanup brush. I use one 99 cents wet and wild. Elf does one that's just a dollar two, that angled eye brush. And I very carefully tamp down any bits. When you're on there, when you're actually on the polish, you really want to be very careful. Any, any of the bits you can see I apologize if you heard that I didn't turn on my do not disturb thing uh, before I started recording, which is not smart. All right, so now we just top coat over it and that's gonna, if you are scared of any of those um, little clear bits, they are gonna disappear. They're just gonna be a memory after we top coat it. All right. So, and there is the nail we just did. And here's the nail I did last video. Because <laughs> I've done this before and it didn't work, so I'm refilming it. You know that. Okay, um, now I guess it's time for my corny sign-off. Did you hear about the vampire who tortured his victims with his music? His bock was worse than his bite. You're welcome. Bye, friends. I'll see you all again soon.